emojis in Xcolid Raw Dark Mode simply don't look good. Similarly, images on an iPad in Dark Mode are inverted. You could say that instead of using Dark Mode, you use a dark background color, like in this case. And yes, the MOG looks perfect. However, the toolbar is simply too bright. It burns a hole in your eye. In this release of Xcolid Raw Obsidian, I'm releasing some experimental functionality that allows you to programmatically customize the color of the tools panel depending on the background color of the image. See how this toolbar has a different color compared to this toolbar, compared to this, or this, or this. In each case, the toolbar has a color that harmonizes well with the background color of the image. If it's dark, then it's dark. If it's light, it's light. Right now, you need some minimal programming skills to get this implemented. It's not that difficult. I'm going to share the script you need in the video description, but you still need to do some setup yourself. Later on, I might add this to the core product and then it's going to become simply a setting in plugin settings. But for now, you need to do two things. You need to create a templater script and place it in a folder that is your startup script folder. This is the script you need to implement. The script looks long, but most of it is just calculation of colors and then update of various style sheet variables. The program implements the Excolid Draw Automate on canvas color change hook, which receives three variables, the Excolid Draw Automate object, the view for which you're updating the tools panel and the color of the background of the image. I'm not going to talk you through this script. If you're interested, you can read through and I'll be very interested if you make some changes to the colors. Uh, I would like to learn from you and then maybe take these learnings together and then publish the final solution in plugin settings. So you need to create this script. I've placed this script under my templater folder in a subfolder called startup. And here's the script itself. And then you need to go to the templater settings and scroll down to the startup templates. And you need to select your startup script and you need to click add new startup template. Once you're done, you need to restart Obsidian or just simply restart Templater from Community Plugins by scrolling down and clicking Turn Off and Turn On. When you do this, Templater will initiate the startup scripts. The startup script is written in such a way that it will take five seconds and do a first attempt and if it's unsuccessful, it will try again in 10 seconds. That is to give Xcolid Draw enough time to load and run. If it's not successful in Developer Console, Control Shift I or Command Shift I on a Mac, you should see some messages. If it's successful, you will see installing Xcolid Draw style hook. If it's unsuccessful, you will see an error message. So that's all I wanted to share with you today. Look for the script in the description and let me know how you like it. And especially let me know if you modify the script. I'd like to learn from the styling that you're doing. Thank you.